Hey there, it's CJ Miller. I'm uh, outside of my apartment, my little uh, balcony area in Shreveport, Louisiana. We're across the Red River from beautiful Bossier City, Louisiana. Please do come check us out. Uh, we're a great place to stop through on your layover to a holiday uh, vacation destination. Uh, and if you haven't decided where to go, uh, for your little holiday vacation. We are a wonderful place. Yeah, you know, stop in and see us, you know. Uh, we have a lot to offer. <laughs> we, we really do. I really, I really feel that. I'm very proud of my uh, home city. So I always want to emphasize that in my videos. Regardless, it's, I, I talk a lot about the, but the mundaneness of my particular things. But let me tell you, uh, when I want to swing from the rafters and raise a little hell, Shreveport's got that too. Um, if I feel artistic uh, and feel artsy and want to express it, we've got that too. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's a, there's usually always something going on, especially in the downtown area. Anyway, um, what? Oh. My friend came in and uh, she had this hat that she had got uh, for her dad and he didn't want it. So uh, guess who got it? Cool. Okay, so mid-holidays, right? October was, uh, you know, my thing. I, I just, you know, Halloween. Uh, I love Halloween. I really do. But I really just needed to, uh, I felt when Halloween came, I just really kind of needed to, uh, unplug and recharge so I really didn't do anything on Halloween and I'm so so grateful that I gave myself that time because Thanksgiving boy did I really um, you know uh, I really uh, do a good Thanksgiving meal and of course my sister great big help on this too what I found out about creme brulee wonderful wonderful there's a tip that, that they tell you with the creme brulee on, on any of the recipes that if you don't have a, a kitchen uh, torch, that you can put the sugar on top of the creme brulees and put them under a broiler in the oven. Uh, and that's what we had to do. I had lost, I misplaced the kitchen torch that I bought. Um, and it worked. It worked really, really well. It did, uh, and it did, uh, as it said, you maybe will lose a little bit of formation the uh so the uh custard part of the creme brulee uh was uh, a little bit loose but it wasn't like a snotty or runny or anything like that it was just a little bit looser what the, the great thing about a creme brulee coming out straight out of the fridge is that it holds like a really really solid form uh but to add heat to it uh will cause breakage just like mayo if you take a mayonnaise and you put heat to a mayonnaise it'll break it'll uh, you know so uh but yeah that was fine it was it, it, it th this was fine it, it i put it in the in, in the i put them in under the broiler for uh oh, just enough to toast the sugar on top and of course the very bottom of some of the custard cups uh of the brulee cup they did uh not not break but it just seemed to be uh, of a softer consistency, if that makes any sense. But it was still wonderful. It's still wonderful. People still liked it. Actually, the I think I may have talked about this at some point. Piccadilly Cafeteria, when we were growing up, uh, my sister loved these. I I didn't, but they were they were egg custard cups, uh, and uh, it was it was basically their version of. Uh, brulee and of course uh they they were the, the they were very soft on the inside uh and so this kind of reminded me of that official uh that piccadilly kind of thing which was kind of special because i know that my sister really loved those and she was over here and so that would have uh kind of given her that um anyway i will do these again uh in uh december for Christmas, and I will make sure to have a kitchen torch so that I'll have a really solid. Because I love, I love a really good, firm, uh, uh, stiff creme brulee uh, custard feeling uh, 
whereas I know that uh, traditionally, uh, uh, and they're and they're you know traditionally in uh, uh, a uh, I want to say uh, a British dish, uh, an English dish. Uh, I want to say, but uh, and they're traditionally like a, a very loose c- consistency of a custard. But I like, I like uh, very firm. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> and I know because there are a couple of them that you know I always make a couple of extra. And then what happened was there was a couple in the fridge, and then I sent some home uh, uh, with the. Uh, my sister and her partner, and then I uh, kept one or two of them. And the thing is, the um, uh, the firm, uh, the firmness was very true, straight out of the fridge, uh, versus being under the, uh, you know, the uh, broiler. So ah, I talked about as much about those brulees as I did my plant just a few moments ago, but I'm going to talk about the plant. I'm so happy about this plant that I've not killed it. And it's not only is it uh, remaining, but it's thriving. It has not gone dor- dormant, you know. Uh, and, and aloe vera typically can sometimes go dormant uh, in a in a cold weather, like like any plant, you know, in the, in the winter. This one uh, is still doing well. Of course, I'm keeping I'm keeping the 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 the, the apartment uh, warm most of the time. Okay, so, um, well, I'm going to pause this video because I'm uh, cooking some dinner and I've got to go check on it. I shall come right back. So it may be, uh, it may be, I don't remember. I, I'm sure I talk about this uh, diet a lot. But, uh, if, you know, up until uh, the day before Thanksgiving, I certainly was very keto uh ketogenic <laughs> i should say with with my habits i love this hat uh oh my and i'll tell you about the how i got the the hat and a scarf in a moment so and then so up until thanksgiving or the day before when i started preparing the food i was very uh you know conscious of my keto because i knew come thanksgiving i was just like i'm gonna eat whatever i want that day i'm not gonna worry about it right uh, and we did uh, get a smaller group, so I, we we scaled back a little bit. Uh, but this menu is outstanding. Started with the uh, crackers uh, and and cheeses, uh, and uh, did not did not pull out uh, vegetables because I you know. <laughs> uh, but we did do uh, you know for dips and stuff like that because because it was a smaller group. And then we had. Um, I had already made the cheese balls, and uh, my sister made some kick-ass crab cakes in a dip that I loved, and I hope that she'll make some more. Um, and they were like perfect, you know, you know, uh, perfect. So, yeah, I was like, I'm gonna have to like pick her for instructions on how to properly do that because it was, it was good. It was good. And then. Uh, so we get through all that, and then I make those cookies, and those cookies, uh, wonderful cookie recipe. The problem is I put them on the uh, cookie sheet too close together, and they don't really form, like, perfect little circles and uh, sometimes cook a little unevenly when you do that. So next time I will uh, I will be sure more spacing and stuff like that, and I will work on Because I know now it's a beautiful cookie recipe. I know now give proper spacing uh, and use um, and make them smaller make them smaller because I, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let me tell you, I uh, love it. Um, cookie, <laughs> chocolate chip cookies did great. Uh, looked like hell, but they tasted wonderful. And uh, <laughs> like, well, uh, that, 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 that's kind of what I had around. Like when people first showed up, it's like, hey, take a piece of these screw, screw cookies. Okay, so we'll get into it. We had a 20 pound turkey. 22 pound turkey, uh, 21 pound plus ham, which is really, we needed, we, we, you know, it's just, you know, we expected more people, but we had a good group anyway. We had a good group anyway. Uh, uh, oh, my sister makes the best mashed potatoes. I don't really do the green bean casserole. She, she, she did, but, um, but yeah, we, we did a kick-ass, uh, dressing, uh, based on a, a dressing thing that she pulled together uh, um, last year. The only thing I didn't do this time is I didn't 
uh, add to it. I, I kept, it was a traditional dressing versus sometimes I'll put stuffing in it. I didn't put stuffing in it. Sometimes, I mean, not stuffing, uh, sausage. Yeah, sometimes I'll put sausage in my dressing. I didn't put sausage in my dressing. I didn't put chicken and I didn't. We you actually used turkey uh, broth from the, from the turkey because uh, there was so much that we used that to dress uh, the dressing with. It was really great. And then, of course, we had a, 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 a turkey gravy, which was good. I think good. The one comment with my nephew loves brown gravy. So I will be sure that over Christmas we will have a brown gravy versus uh, I'll do I'll do a non turkey dripping uh, gravy with uh, but but it'll be a brown gravy. So yeah, so we'll do that. And then what else? Um, what else did we have? We had so much stuff in this. You know, uh, dessert wise. I told you about my sister's green bean casserole. Yeah, and then so the sausage balls and the crab cakes and and the deviled eggs. Those things are like prepped and they're they're available all throughout the meal. So they they add to they they start out with the appetizers, but they carry on through the meals too. Lots of cheese, cheese and ham uh, trays and stuff like that. And I have a, a nephew that comes over. My nephew's son is my my, my great nephew, and I guess he just he he just loves to take home the leftover cheeses and ham and crackers. And so we always get some, whether we think we're going to eat it or not, we always get something like that. And we say at the end of it, Hey, that's yours to take home, you know, cause he just loves that. You know? So, and of course I, I do love to send plenty of uh, leftovers. Like I don't think people took home, they took home a lot of leftovers, but they didn't take home enough leftovers because I could not eat all of the leftovers. But, um, yeah, uh, by my because I'm a single person. I don't, you know, what the hell am I gonna do with uh, <laughs> like today? I finished snacking on some of the leftovers, and there was still some that I could not. I was like, okay, I'm not gonna be able to keep all of these. I'm getting a little burnt out, and I don't want to waste food with all that. But it's you know. Uh, if something's been in the fridge for that long, it's probably not great for leftovers anyway. I probably could have froze some of it uh, for later. But anyway, uh, we, we, we were good. We were good. We were good. So Christmas is coming up. We're going to do a kick-ass. Uh, ham is going to be the focus. We had a ham. Like I said, a huge ham and everything. But we really didn't put the emphasis on the presentation on the ham. So the focus kind of shifts. We'll probably have uh, poultry and ham at Christmas, and the fo focus will be on the ham, whereas we had a uh, poultry, a uh, large turkey, but the focus, focus was on the turkey versus the uh, ham. What was stand out about the ham was it was like 20 something pounds of it. I love that ham, though. It's really good. Um, but yeah, I think, I think what I might do, and I'm thinking, is because we've already had a turkey, I may want to do uh, a, a, a great ham. And then I may want to do individual Cornish hens for the people who come so they can have like a, their own individual little chicken <laughs> and everything. It'd be a little different, you know. And then maybe have that and then maybe have maybe like a third meat on the side, like a lot of sausage or something like that. Like, uh, you know, some, some Eck Ridge uh, type sausage and stuff like that. You never know. I know that my nephew, my my that my nephew, the senior, you know, uh, uh, that comes. He's not a big sausage person, but everybody else uh, loves a good sausage. So, don't you like a good sausage? I know I love a good sausage. Anyway, it's a good sausage fest. So yeah, that's about as far as I've gone, and and uh, whatever. Um, we have a. A, a good space here uh, in this apartment. So it's kind of become like the unofficial uh, meeting place, but I'm open to whenever somebody else decides they want to do a ho host a holiday kind, kind of stuff. I, I'm, I'm down for that too, but uh, yeah. Um, you know, uh, most definitely most definitely holidays are fun. I'm glad I gave myself that, uh, that rest for Halloween and believe me, I needed it. You know? And, um, then shortly after we didn't have everybody, 
uh, but most of the most of the people that that I wanted to come came, and then um, so I'm cool for people just dropping by too. Like I had a neighbor just drop in and say hello. She wasn't she wasn't staying for the meal, but she just stopped in, said hello for a moment. So that's fine too. If um, should anybody want, uh, they'll be welcome. I got house rules, you know, no no drugs, no no dope, nothing like that. But other than that, hey, whatever. Okay, so um, yeah. Um, Christmas. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I had to uh, do some decorating for Christmas. And after that, uh, after Christmas, when I take down the Christmas decoration, which is mostly going to be uh, a Christmas tree, maybe with the backdrop uh, that, that, uh, of a whatever, uh, just to, you know, reflect some lights off of or something like that. Um, after, after that, uh, after the Christmas, as uh, I take it down, going into New Year, that's when I'm going to kind of really get serious into uh, uh, putting up some uh, uh, decorations around the house. It's just, uh, you know, as far as like regular, you know, pictures or whatever kind of decor or whatever, uh, get into maybe uh, thinking about what sort of window treatments or anything like that. I guess what I wanted to do was I wanted to make sure that I was going to really be here for a while. I love it. Uh, I love the apartment. I wanted to make sure that I was going to be agreeable with the neighbors in the neighborhood and everything like that. And it wasn't going to like, you know, because you, know, you want to make sure you're, uh, before you really get in, just throw a uh, whole bunch of stuff into the place, you want to find out that things are going to work out. And it really does seem like it's going to. So, yeah, I'm going to put up um, some uh, some glitz or, or, or whatever. You know, I'm going to, uh, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um I'm thinking in terms of modern eclecticism because that's kind of a catch-all, cheap, cheesy uh, term anybody can use. Okay, I love the holidays. I uh, see uh, the day or so after Thanksgiving, which I guess it's been that, uh, a friend of mine came in from town. Uh, you remember I've talked about my friends uh, Paul and Jana. Well, Jana came in town to uh, 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 just briefly. I think she was bringing her daughter back. Uh, to her grandparents' house. Anyway, she came over uh, uh, early one morning, and I mean early, like maybe four in the morning, uh, and I had breakfast waiting for her, you know, scrambled eggs, some bagel, English muffin, some ham, you know, just, uh, you know, coffee, uh, tea, soda. Just, uh, I had like the, the whole smorgas, like a good, you know, a good, a good, breakfast, you know, and I mean, these were not like, these were like, I asked her how she wanted eggs, and she said scrambled, and I was like, Maybe I can scramble an egg. So she got about four eggs scrambled. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. So she ate all of it. She must have been hungry. So, um, yeah. And then uh, she had some blueberry muffins. And la then later on before she left her, uh, actually, while she was, we went out. Uh, she, she ate the breakfast. Uh, uh, and then she, she napped for a bit. And then later on, uh, got around lunchtime, she got a little... Uh, hungry, but she was also, she had like an itinerary. She had short time here because she was going to uh, visit with someone and then she was going to head back to uh, Arkansas. So um, we didn't really have time for lunch. She just kind of like had those muffins that she grabbed onto, whatever. But uh, okay, so uh, um, what are we doing? Uh, just talking, talking. Yeah, it was fun to see a friend of mine, even if it was just a uh, you know, post holiday, but come through and see, and that's nice. That is nice to have people that feel that uh, you can be kind of like a safe harbor when they're passing through town. I enjoy that. I enjoy someone looking me up saying, "Hey, I'm coming through town. Uh, would you like to visit, or maybe I could stay for a night uh, or something like that." I like that. You know. Uh, and I'm blessed with people who do that without trying to wear out their welcome, too. I mean, there's nothing worse, maybe, than somebody coming in and it's like, hey, we're we'll here for a visit, uh, and we'd like to stay for uh, a visit that's going to last about three months. Well, oh, no, that's not that's not a visit. That is a cohabitation. <laughs> you know? I, I don't have any of those people. I used to be one of those people, though. I'd show up at your house and, and like, would sleep for, like, three or four weeks, and it's like, yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> um, I'm good. I'm good for friends that they wanna if they wanna come through and they wanna stay for a few days, or whatever. That's pretty cool. 
Um, what else is going on? That's about it. Hang on, let me go check my meal. I'll be right back. So, yeah, as of today, I was still carving off bits of the ham. But we had people take it home as leftovers, like, uh, lots of to go. And I actually, that's kind of cool. We're going to do that again. But I'm going to, like I said, I decided maybe to scale back, like still do a large ham, but scale back on the uh, uh, poultry uh, course and focus more on, uh, I know those uh, uh, potatoes, uh, that's going to be a definite thing. Uh, you know, just, it was great. It was great. Uh, and then maybe we'll do some different dessert. I'm still doing the creme brulee. Still doing the creme brulee. And what I did with this creme brulee is I had a, I uh, used the meringue. I, I, I took the uh, egg whites and I made a soft meringue and then stirred in uh, the uh, soft meringue into my cake uh, batter and made a, uh, a cake to serve on the side of the creme brulee because I feel like that's maybe like one dessert there or whatever and then so I'll probably do something like that again you know um, maybe I'll change up just slight and maybe I'll put uh, uh, you know there's various ways to do a, a, a a brulee where you can actually, or a meringue for that matter, where you actually can brown the sugar uh, in before you put it into the custard or the meringue or something like that and make kind of like a caramel uh, flavoring with it. I don't know. I, honestly, I do not know where we're going to go with it, how creative I want to get. Um, the creativity for Thanksgiving will probably be around the, the cake that I make to go along the side of it, but yeah. But, but I like to use those uh, egg whites in a, in a meringue or something like that. But if you, if you were going to do a holiday meal and you were going to do like, uh, say, custard or anything that required like egg yolks, then you actually could make your egg whites, you know, and, and you could use them for savory sauces too. Like you could whip them up and put a little bit of oil and spices and seasoning and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, whereas your egg yolks are typically used to make a mayonnaise. Um, sometimes people use the whole egg to make a mayonnaise, and if you wanted to, you really could make a mayonnaise using just the egg white or using most of your egg, you, you know, using the egg whites that you had separated as additional to the one or two eggs that you're going to blend and make a traditional mayo out of. And then you, from there, your mayo, you can make various dipping sauces out of it you know, whatever it's, you know, with that though, you want to make sure that you're definitely going to put in a twist of lemon or a, a twist of uh, vinegar or something like that to chemically, uh, chemically cook the egg. You don't want to just take a, you don't want to just take a meringue and, and, or you don't want to just take an egg white and not use, uh, something acidic, uh, to chemically cook them. Because if you don't do that, then you're, basically just uh, eating up whipped raw egg whites and that's can make you sick you know so you have to use the chemical uh, the uh, acidity so okay um i love you guys and I, I i can't say this enough i hope you're having wonderful fun holidays i know that i am love and light peace good night